Diablo 4 is nearly here, and once again, the world of Sanctuary is at risk of being overrun by the forces of evil. How did the self-proclaimed Mother of Humanity come to play such a pivotal role in the newest installment? Stay a while and listen. We're catching you up on the lore that brought us to the current crisis, presented by Diablo 4. The Diablo games take place in the world of Sanctuary, a fairly Earth-like place at first glance, but one with a very different origin. There has been an eternal conflict between heaven and hell for eons. During one of the myriad battles in this conflict, a powerful demon named Lilith captured an angel named Denarius. Lilith realized Denarius was as tired of the eternal conflict as she was, and completely enamored with her, so she used that to her advantage. Lilith manipulated Denarius' affections and convinced him to rebel against both sides. Together they stole the powerful World Stone and used it to create a new realm they called Sanctuary. The World Stone hid Sanctuary from heaven and hell, and a number of renegade angels and demons joined Lilith, settling in Sanctuary to escape the endless war. In Sanctuary, Lilith and Inarius had a child named Rathma, the first of the Nephilim. Other angels and demons followed suit, and soon the Nephilim were plentiful. Being the children of supernatural godlike beings, they were very powerful, and they had children of their own who inherited the same power just as their parents had. With so many superpowered offspring running around, the angels and demons feared they could be overthrown by the Nephilim, or worse, their raw power might cause heaven and hell to notice Sanctuary. Many advocated for the eradication of the Nephilim, but Inarius convinced them to think on it for a while. Lilith, however, was enraged by the notion that the others would exterminate what she had come to consider her children and the future of all creation. She transformed into a monstrous beast and slaughtered every ally of Anarius who dared threaten the Nephilim. Anarius was horrified, but could not bring himself to kill Lilith, instead banishing her from Sanctuary. He altered the World Stone to cause the Nephilim to decrease in power gradually, eventually resulting in a distinctly less formidable race of mortals known as humanity. Thousands of years later, Lilith is finally summoned back to Sanctuary by a ritual sacrifice. Her return to Sanctuary awakens darkness in people's hearts, and a cult springs up around her extremely quickly. She's now worshipped as a goddess, and blood sacrifices are regularly made in her name. Humanity is being corrupted by her presence, committing atrocities almost casually. It doesn't take a prophet to see that conflict between Lilith's cult and Anarius' Church of Light is inevitable. Angel and demon, using humans as pawns in their eons-old battle. As players, we are not angels, demons, demigods, Nephilim, or any of these eternal beings. Each of us is simply a mysterious wanderer, and though far from helpless, we will need to bring all our skills, powers, and might to their zenith if we intend to take the fight to Lilith herself. Sanctuary, and indeed all of reality, hangs in the balance. You can make sure humanity comes out on top when Diablo 4 releases for PC, Xbox Series, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5 on June 6th. And until then, for everything Diablo, keep it right here on IGN.